Hey everyone, welcome to Molotis. It is a blend of mobility and Pilates combined together. My name is Lindsay. All you need today is a mat. Feel free to meet me cross legged in the middle of your mat. Take a deep inhale, shrugging your shoulders up towards your ears. And exhale, releasing back down. Inhaling deep from the stomach, pulling through the rib cage. And exhale back down. Inhale, pull all the way up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale, stretching that spine nice and tall. Exhale down. And one more. Inhale up. And exhale down. You're going to roll your shoulders back and down. Do a few forward as well. For your next inhale, rise your arms up above your head. And on the exhale, drop your right hand to the right side. Reach your cross with your left arm. Keeping your left hip. Nice and planted on the mat. Take a deep inhale, coming back neutral, right to meet the left. And exhale, drop the left down. Shifting your body towards the left side. Keep the right hip nice and planted. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, neutral. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, right hand down. Left reaches across. Inhale, come back neutral. Exhale, drop your left hand and reach across with your right. And one more each side. Inhale, deep, nice, tall spine. Exhale, plant your right hand. Inhale, tall spine, and plant your left hand. Inhale, tall spine, and slowly drop your hands down towards the mat. Take your chin down towards your chest. Be in a rock back, side to side. Releasing tension in that neck, the upper back. Breathing into this as you rock. In your next inhale, make sure to keep your, top, your spine nice and tall and take your gaze down towards your right armpit. Keeping the chest nice and open, tuck your left hand under your left glute. Take your right hand towards your head. Taking an inhale, keeping your gaze down towards your armpit and rock down and up, slightly looking towards the ceiling, back and forth very gently. With every breath, you come more in tune where you feel the tension today. Take a deep inhale and release both hands on the exhale. Slowly sweep your chin across your chest. Do a few more rocks. You may feel a difference along the left side of the body now. On your next inhale, I'll take your gaze down towards your left armpit. Keeping your chest nice and open, tuck your right hand under your glute. And gently place your left hand on the right side of your head. Hold here for a nice stretch along the upper traps on the right side of the body, along the neck. On your next inhale, begin to rock your face down towards your armpit and slightly up towards the ceiling. Take it at your own pace, no pain. Just beginning to release the upper back and neck. On your next inhale, prepare to release both hands and on the exhale, with the chin across the chest. Feeling for the differences along the sides of the body.
On the next inhale, come neutral. Exhale, tuck your chin up, taking your gaze forward. Roll those shoulders out. You're going to stretch your legs out in front of you and pedal those legs back and forth, bending at the knees. Begin to roll the ankles a few times. And when you're all ready, come meet me flat on your mat, on your back. Hugging your knees to your chest, wrapping the clockwise position, massaging out the lower back. And switch counterclockwise. You're going to slow down the movement, come neutral, place your arms out like a T to the side. Deep inhale and exhale, release your legs down towards the right side of your body. Knees and hips, ankles stacked. Make sure your, glute, your shoulders are glued to the floor and take your gaze down towards your left fingertips. And now begin to switch your gaze neutral, rolling completely onto the right side of your body, stacking your left hand over top of your right. Take a deep inhale on the exhale, open up that chest again, placing the back of the left hand on the floor. Inhale, stacking left hand on the right. Exhale, opening your book. Inhale, stacking, and exhale, releasing. If you don't touch the floor today, that's perfectly fine. Just opening up that thoracic spine. Take it your own pace. Exhaling down. Inhaling, lifting. Give me two more. Really breathing into these last two. Maybe reaching for the floor a little bit longer. Once you stack your left over your right, begin to lift your left arm and left leg, coming back neutral, following with your right. Have your knees to chest and wrap it out. Preparing your roll to the left side of the body, arms out into your teeth. Take a deep inhale on the exhale, roll your knees towards the left side of the mat, stacking knees, ankles, and hips. Gluing the shoulders down towards the floor. Extending that stretch by looking towards your right fingertips. Breathing into the position and releasing any tension during the exhale. Come into what your bottom needs for today. In your next inhale, begin to lift your right hand to place over top of your left. And on the exhale, rotate back again, back of the right hand on the floor. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, opening. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, opening. Go at your own pace. Allow your breath to control your release. Two more, really elongating on the stretch. Maybe coming a little bit closer to the floor. A 
Once you step your right hand over your left, begin to rotate the right and right leg, meeting with the left leg and left arm of your knees to your chest. Rock it out if you feel. Take a deep inhale, extending your legs all the way towards the bottom of the mat, arms above. Inhaling from the rib cage to the chest, reach, 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 both fingertips to the And exhale, soften. Two more inhaling, stretching that spine as far as you can. And exhale, releasing. One more deep inhale, pulling from the belly. Exhale, release. Begin to bend one knee at a time in towards your glutes, planting your feet on the mat. Imagine the marble is on your belly button. And when you inhale, your pelvis comes off of the mat, curving at the lower back. And exhale, tucking in. Feeling that marble traveling down towards your lower back. So inhale, lifting up. And exhale, tucking. Finding that nice neutral spine. You want to practice most of Pilates in a neutral spine to protect your lower back and to really keep that core nice and engaged. Take one more wrap back and forth. Keep that core tight as you lift one leg up to a 90 degree position and the other to me. Hands will come right along the front of your knees. Begin by pressing into your legs as your legs come towards your hips. So you'll feel a nice little engagement of that core. We'll hold for five second reps. Here we go, push for five, four, three, two, one, release. Check your spine, keep nice and tight, and then push for five, four, three, two, one, three more of these isometric pulls. Pushing in for five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep inhale, check neutral spine, and exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling deep, and last one, exhale, push five, four, three, Two and one, release. Hug those knees to your chest. That's a great activation drill if you ever want to do it before working out or any kind of core exercises. Again, find your neutral spine. Once again, knees come 90 90. Begin by touching down one toe at a time, alternating. Really paying attention to how your core shifts as you change from leg to leg. All right, now start to pick it up. We'll go at counts of 10. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leg straight up. And pulse towards your toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back down, 90, 90, dropping toes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Toes straight up towards the air and reach for the ceiling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last set. Legs 90 90, check that initial spine. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs straight up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release down. Hug your knees in. You can plant your feet, 
and windshield wiper them as well. If your core wasn't activated before, sure is now. All right, relax here. Begin to flip onto your stomach. All right, so put your chest and whole body down, looking about three to five inches ahead of you. Put your arms out into a T just like before. Weave your legs together. Chin tuck back enough as you lift from the upper back slightly and releasing down. Up, release down. Up, release down. And two more just to get the motion. All right, so you should be feeling that about in the upper back, between the shoulder blades a little bit. Plant the right side of your face down on the mat. And relax here. All right, we're gonna build onto that sequence. So you'll lift, bend, straight forward, down, and straighten. So the whole time your upper back and chest is gonna be lifted, but make sure you're really squeezing those lower legs and the glutes together to protect that lower back. Again, look up about three inches ahead of you, lifting from the upper back, bend, forward, bend back, straighten, and down. Lift up, bend, forward, straighten, and down. Up, bend, forward, bend, straighten, down. Up, bend, forward, straighten, and down. One more. Up, Bend, forward, bend, straighten, and down. Paint your left side of your cheek on the mat. You can windshield wipe your legs again if you'd like. Take an inhale and place your hands right on the side of your chest. And on the exhale, come back and sit into a nice child pose. You can stretch your knees out towards the edges of the mat. Just sink your glutes down into your heels. Take an inhale, look between your hands. Begin to come to all fours. Place your fingertips out towards the edge of your mat. Palms are facing in. Make sure you're nice and grounded through your knees. Begin to shift your weight from side to side. Really wake up those wrists. Begin to go into a circle. We go clockwise, shifting the weight from the bottom of the hand to the fingertips, and switch direction. Preparing to rotate your hands back to neutral, pressing through the hands. Extend one leg out, up onto your toes. And it's then the other to meet into a nice plank position. Weight over top, your shoulders over top of your wrists. Keep your body in nice alignment. Begin to bend one leg down towards the mat. Reach back up. Switch. Reach. Tap down. Tap up. Nothing else should be moving, but just your knee tapping down towards the floor. You should really feel your core nice and activated. And it stabilizes you. One more each side. And release. Come 
onto your knees and extend your arms out for child pose. Take an inhale, look through your hands, flipping your palms to the fingertips face you. You're going to rock back on to your heels, giving your wrists and forearm a nice stretch. Preparing for the next exercise. Take a deep inhale, on the exhale, slowly rotate your hands back. We'll be going into a downward dog plank. Um, series. So your hands will be up at the top of the mat. Again, pressing evenly through the base of your hand, top of the hand, and then the fingertips. Spread nice and even. Send one leg out, pushing through the heel, and extend the other to meet. Inhale, looking down through your legs, coming to a downward dog. Stretching through your arms, you can pedal out your feet. Relax here, look, take your gaze between your hands. Begin to shift your body weight as you bring your right leg off the floor, come to center, rounding. Exhale, planting back down. Inhale, bring your left to center. Exhale, back. Coming to downward dog. Inhale, looking at your hands, bringing the right to the center. Exhaling down, bring the left to the center. Exhale, down. Take a deep inhale, shift to downward dog. Inhale. Reaching forward with your right. Exhale, right to meet left. Inhale, left to center. Exhale, left to meet right. And extend into downward dog. One more here. Take a deep inhale, pulling your right knee up towards your hands. Exhale, back. Inhale, between your hands. Exhale, and back. And deep inhale into downward dog. Begin to plant your knees down. Shift in a child pose, relaxing here. Let's give the upper back and the shoulders a break. So come to all fours with me, planting your right hand behind your head. Begin to rotate up towards the ceiling. Exhale, touch the left elbow. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, rotating down. On this exhale, you're in it. Extend your right arm behind the left. Extending the left fingertips up towards the top of the mat. Stacking your hips over top of your knees. Releasing your right arm flat onto the floor. Begin to crawl your left fingertips down towards your face planted on the mat. On the inhale, pull from your belly. On the exhale, begin to slightly push into that left hand as you twist your gaze towards the ceiling. And release back down. Inhale, push through the hand, taking your gaze towards the ceiling. Feeling a nice pull along the right side of the upper back. And exhaling back down. One more slight push through the left fingertips and exhale back down. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, push through the left hand, unthread the right, and place it back down to all fours. Begin by placing your left hand behind your head. On the inhale, rotate up. Exhale, come down to the right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more inhale, and on this exhale, plant the left arm underneath of the right as you extend the right arm towards the top of the mat.
Make sure your hips are nice and stacked over top of your knees. It'll give a little bit of a deeper stretch. Begin to crawl your right fingertips down towards your cheek planted on the mat. On the inhale, press through the right hand, slightly twisting your feet up towards the ceiling. And exhale back down. Inhale, pushing up. Exhaling down. And one more. Inhale, pushing through the right hand. And exhale, come back down. I'm threading the left and the right, facing off towards on the mat. Go ahead and come off your mat with me. We'll come to a standing position for a plie squat lunge series. So, in a deep squat plie position. You need to rock back and forth, open up those hips, feel free. Begin by squatting down deep and back up. Do a few here, once you feel like you've got the motion right. All right, pause here. Begin by coming deep with me. We'll do 10 repetitions here. Then we'll transition to a twist towards the right side, lunging down and up. Then we'll come back to plie, back to the other side, and you guys are all set. All right, so turn your toes out to a nice plie. Take a deep inhale, keep your neck core tight, send the hips back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Twist towards your right, stay nice and low. And down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay low in the middle for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stay low, come to the left and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back center and slowly come up. Bring your legs in and come meet me down at the mat. And then your right knee down the floor will stretch up the hip flexor, left leg in front. Begin by tucking the tailbone under. Squeezing that right glute and slowly shifting your weight forward. Really keeping that contraction on the glute will help loosen up in the front. On the next inhale, take your right hand by your side and begin to reach across, elongating the side body. Two more inhales here, reaching. And relax, switch knees. Right foot planted on the mat, left knee down. Again, tuck that tailbone under. Squeeze that left glute. And slightly shift your weight forward. On your next inhale, take your left hand up above. 
and reach. A few more inhales here, one and two. Slowly coming down towards your mat. Into a cross leg position. Take a deep inhale up, reaching your arms above and exhaling down. Good work today. Thank you for joining me for my Lotties. This will be our last class at 1230, but next week there will be a bunch of new classes, so look out for those next week.